In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this nice opening slide in PowerPoint where the title and subtitle appear from a certain object or from behind an object in your picture. And for the first part of the tutorial, we're going to make the slide. So let's start from a blank slide and we're going to add a nice image to the presentation. I found this one on Unsplash. I'll link it in the description below. We want to make sure that it fills the entire screen and now we're going to add some text to it. So drag a text box and let's type in NYC. We're going to use the font Avenir Next. Go to Avenir Next and we're going to use the heavy sub font. Let's make it white and increase the size. Let's try 150 and it can even be bigger. Maybe let's try 195. That looks quite good. Right click format shape and we're going to give some shadow to the text. That way it will stand out more with the sky. So this way it's, it's easier to read. Let's play around with the transparency. Let's go for around 60, eight point blur. That looks good. Drag another text box below. And here we try to type in presentation. We're going to use the font Avenir next as well. But for the sub font, we're going to use, let's try Demi Bolt. Make it white and increase in the size so that it is about the same size as the three word title. Let's also add a shadow to this one. So drop shadow to the right and let's reduce the transparency of this one. You know what? I'm going to make the subtitle a little bit bolder. Let's try bold. I think that looks better. That way it stands out more against the background. What we want to do here is we want to right click, copy, right click, paste or control C, control V and create a copy of the image. Right click crop and now we're going to drag the crop handle so it meets about the middle of the Empire State Building. We're going to copy the image once more, place it on top and this time we want to select the tower, so the Empire State Building. So go to picture format, remove background and now you can mark all the areas that you want to keep and in red you can remove anything that you don't want. So in our case, we just want the Empire State Building. Let's fine tune the edges here. There we go. That will do. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs a quite clean cut on the side. Keep changes. And now we're going to drag it or it's already positioned on the right location. I like to drag the crop marks so it's a clean cut. Then we can easily see that we have selected this part. And now we have three layers, which is the part on the right we have the top layer and now we have the background image. So this is the slide that we want to end with or our opening slide. Now let's look at two ways to animate the slide. The first way is to animate it with the morph transition. So that works for PowerPoints of 2019 or later. What we want to do now is we want to duplicate the slide and then we want to select the title and the subtitle and drag it to the right. And because we have layered them in such a way that these two layers are on top, the letters will nicely go behind it. Let's create some extra space with the subtitle. And of course, we have to change the order of the slides because we don't want them in the beginning. And as soon as we click, we want the letters to appear. Select the second slide, go to transitions and apply the morph transition. Let's increase the duration to about 2.5 and let's preview what we have. And now if we have the opening slide and as soon as we click, the letters will appear from behind the Empire State Building and give quite a nice opening effect to your slide. Now, in case you don't have the morph transition, there's still an alternative way that you could use. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the end slide that we want. And we still have the different layers. So one, two, three layers that we keep in the same order. But this time we want to use the fly in animation. So we select the text go to animations and fly in. Of course, we want the effect option to make sure that it comes from the right side. Open the animation pane because it's going quite fast. So we're going to change some settings. I'm going to add a smooth end and the duration I'm going to put to, let's try three seconds. For the presentation, so the subtitle, I want to use a slight delay. So for that, I'm going to add 0.5 to the delay. And now let's preview how it looks like with the fly in animation. And as soon as you click, 
the words and the title will fly into the presentation, which is also quite a nice effect. Now, if we compare both of the animations, you'll see it's a very similar effect. So this one is the morph animation. And then now let's look at the fly in animation. And here we can see that everything nicely flows from behind the Empire State Building into the screen. Personally, I really like this type of opening slides. It's a good eye catcher to start your presentation with. Now, as a little bonus, I also want to show you how to transition to next slides. So for that, let's do a new slide. And what we're going to do here is we're going to format background. And I'm going to give this a solid fill in a light gray tint. That way it's quite similar with the previous image and we don't diverge too much. I'm going to add some content to the slide. It's just some titles and text boxes with the Avenir font, nothing special there. But what we can do is we can add some nice animations or transitions, for example, the push transition. Put it to 1.75 and now let's preview what this transition would look like. So the opening of your presentation, as soon as you click the title and subtitle appear on your slide, and if you're done introducing the topic and you want to dive in the presentation, you can click and nicely transition to the next slide. And that way everything looks quite consistent in your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the tutorial on the screen right now.